Well, Happy New Year 2021. This is going to be old very quickly. I am going to show you a video today that I actually shot a year ago about the power of prayer. It is more powerful and relevant even now. But the power of prayer has existed, well, as long as man has. And of course, we know the many examples of that, which I will discuss. And this is all the more reason that I hope you'll join me every month for my Miracle Circle group. We have a different teaching of going into the miracle space, that place where miracles and prayers and meditation really do make a difference, especially as a group. And then we have a meditation at the end, and it's something you'll have access to unlimited and review the training, the practices you'll get, and the meditation as many times as you want because it takes practice to deprogram and reprogram the dense physical body into what we truly know we are. So I'm going to share this video that I shot on the power of prayer and how you can use it, why it works, and how amazing prayer is. Yes, yeah, somebody truly is listening to you. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Uncon YouTube, here to help you break through those fears, to live an amazing, awesome life. I'm going to supply some tools for you that could completely change your life, but you must make the decision. We're going to discuss the power of prayer, how you can use it, how it's real, how it's effective, and why it doesn't work sometimes with others and for yourself. Now, you know that uh, Christ was one of one of many amazing prophets that visited this planet to show us how amazingly powerful we are. And somehow we just put them up on pedestals instead of saying, hey, the message is, is that we too can do these things. So when Christ was healing other people, of course, they believed because he was this powerful being and was showing these amazing feats and miracles, they believed that he possessed a power that they did not. So when he came to them and they wanted to get healed, they believed that he had that power to do it when in actuality they were doing it. Of course, he was absolutely projecting his positive, you know, uh, changes, wishes, uh, manifestations, and prayers, of course, to them, his healing powers. But unless they believed, it couldn't happen. And this is why he was not able to heal everyone. There were some people that doubted. In fact, he would uh, ask those in the room who did not believe to leave. Why? Because their energy, quantum physics, affected the energy in the room. It actually affected why we are one thing. Now I'm gonna to talk to you about what's called the Maharishi effect. Now this is one of many, many experiments and uh, projects that prove that prayer absolutely does change our planet and you and everything else, but I'm going to talk about the choice that goes behind it and how that is the critical key to manifesting anything. All right, so between 2007 and 2010, I believe it was, there was a group of, I think it was transcendental meditation, uh, meditation technique was used. Anyways, it was people manifesting, uh, about 4,000 or more people would continually uh, meditate, continually meditate and say their prayers for peace. And in that time period, in that location, they... Uh, lowered the crime rate by 23%. When they stopped the project, the crime rate went back up. All right, it noticeably went down and then it noticeably went back up. Okay, what is that, right? People didn't know they were doing this experiment, so it wasn't like, oh, all of a sudden people were thinking, well, we, we're not, we're not gonna go steal, you know, during this time period. This was an independent kind of study. What is that? That's real. Now, here's what's happening. That power, because people will say to me, well, can't you pray for me to win the lottery? I'm like, no, because you don't believe you can yourself. You don't even need me. When groups of people, because we are one energy and we are entangled, everyone's entangled, we are actually coming from one source. We are all part of that source. There's no separation in us other than our experiences, which appear to be individual and 
are individual in this hologram that we're playing out, but we are still completely entangled. That means what you think and what you do absolutely affects every single person on this planet. And the combined thoughts, feelings, beliefs determine the uh, history, what's going to happen with this planet and beyond. Yes, we have our own individual realities within that. But what you're doing every day is affecting absolutely everyone. So prayer, what's happening is those who were out there doing some, you know, not so nice stuff, stealing or murdering or whatever else people do that makes us a, a mess here on this planet, uh, were affected by it. So somebody who was thinking of doing something maybe have thought, I really don't want to do that today. I'm not going to break into that house or I'm not going to mug that person or whatever it is they were thinking. It was an individual, it's a still an individual choice that they get to make. So do you get this? So what's going to happen is some people ask me, well, can I affect somebody else who I want to bring back to me, an ex? There's always people trying to get their ex back. It, it didn't work. Let it go. Why would you want an ex back? It didn't work. Something wasn't happening, right? And it's not that you can't get your ex back under great circumstances, but why would you want to? All right, so let's say you want to and you're convinced that you're this great couple. Obviously, they don't think that, but let's say, let's say that that's the case. Well, yes, you can pray. Not, oh, I need you to come back. I'm going to will you to come back. Okay, that's great, great stuff. Just, you know, ask that if if that the this you know situation could be a positive one positive one for him or her and for yourself or whatever that you know and you're thinking of them they are going to have you ever noticed that you think about somebody and they call and they're like you were on my mind or you have a dream about somebody right so what happens is you are entangled with that person so they may think of you but here's what's going to happen they may be thinking oh god I'm glad I got rid of him or her Whew. Right? Yeah, that may not be good. Or you're like, I want them to text me. All right, you've got to ask yourself why you're going into that zone. And that is the ego wanting to control other people versus prayer and good thoughts. All right, so if you're thinking about that person, you want them to come back or whatever, that's great. Okay, whatever, go for it. You know, if you really think that you must have it, then your ego has to have what it wants. In, in your head, you believe that the situation is going to be a certain way that's going to be great for you, obviously. They're not with you. It's for you. And so the question is, what can I learn from this? What do I need to let go? And why do I have to have other people do or be with me or whatever it is you desire? Why am I doing that? We do it all the time. People do it on my channel all the time. You need to do this. You know, I don't need to do a damn thing. You know, it's my life. I'm going to do whatever I choose. And same thing with you. What you do is nobody else's business unless you're, at, unless you're interacting with them. What we do as a collective should be on a super high level. That is just sending good thoughts, prayers, and light and love. I do it every single day at least once or twice or ten times. I send light and love. Even when I meditate, I ask for healing and enlightenment to those who choose. I actually say to choose, who choose. Those who choose enlightenment, may they have abundance. Those who choose abundance and healing, please, I send that to all who desire it. May they find their way. That works. So every single day that you do this, it helps you too. So whatever you send, you receive. Whatever you give, you're receiving immediately. All right, a photon experiment. The scientists uh, split a photon and they put one at this end at seven miles and one at this end at seven miles, 14 miles apart, and to see you know what would happen with them. And uh, you know. Uh, uh, Einstein said that nothing can go, uh, move faster than the speed of light. Well, that's not true because we have no limits of any kind. Uh, but at the time, that's all that we could clock, right? Well, what happened? Wow, whatever they did to this photon, this photon was reacting identically. So the question was, wow, so things were moving, information was moving to the second photon faster than the speed of light? No. They were never separated to begin with. They were just still operating as one thing. And this is what I keep saying over and over again. Nothing is separated. 
we're picking up on each other. A lot of times you'll feel things. You will feel what's going on out there. You're like, you'll have all these weird feelings like it's a planets, this energy, how things are aligned, uh, what other people are think, thinking and feeling, what they're going through, where the moon, all this stuff affects us. But you still have free will and choice. So when we do prayer and we send it out, there will be people who will make the decision to make a higher decision, right? And then there are those who got to do whatever they want anyways. And so this is how we affect the planet and one another. Prayer works, but the other person still has individual choice. And the same thing goes for you. You made me feel, somebody said, I made them feel Catholic nun guilty. I'm like, I don't even know what that means. But I said, no, I don't make you feel anything. So if you're feeling guilty, well, why? Why are you feeling guilty? There's something going on in your little head. Uh, nobody makes you feel bad. Nobody makes you feel guilty. And we do this stuff to ourselves all the time. And it's ridiculous. Higher thoughts. No one does anything to you. You know, you could have some kind of physical altercations, fine. But we're still entangled with those people. And there's a, a lesson to be learned or something going on with that relationship that we may never know until we pass over and then we realize the purpose of it all because you can't know everything here or you wouldn't, you wouldn't get it, right? You wouldn't get the lessons if everything was so blatantly obvious. So I want you to understand the power of this, how unbelievably powerful it can be. So if you have somebody who's ill, absolutely you can pray over them and let them know you're praying because when, when they receive that information, it can, because people that do believe in prayer can say, wow, okay, now they're aware that you're doing this and so they're going to pick up on it and it'll help reinforce their own positive belief to receive it, right? You go into church, it's like, you know, Burr, yeah, you will receive this and people fall on the floor and all that stuff because they, they believe it, right? And there's other, they're interacting with somebody else that they think has more power than them. That, like, that's the Jesus effect, right? But you're really doing it because you have to make that choice. This is super powerful stuff. So you can look this up on the internet. There's been many, many situations where things were affected through prayer. I believe that all of us should do this every single day. And if you do, you will live in a world that's very different. And it's happening. We're going into the fifth and it is happening. And those of you who think that's not true, then you're choosing the reality that is going to hell in a handbasket, right? And that's your, that's your individual choice. You can do that. And also, if you see other people as negative or whatever, you are not separate from them. So you're projecting that on yourself. Absolutely, absolutely projecting that on yourself. Because we're one energy, and you're not separate from the very person, <clears throat> excuse me, you could be condemning. So everyone is your brother and sister. And they're really not that. They're actually all just light, beautiful light beings. But if you see somebody is less than you or you've got a problem or they're the problem and all these people are doing this and that, then you really haven't grasped the fact that we are absolutely one energy all playing out these different roles for whatever reason not to be judged, but that you can make a difference even if it's just in your home saying those prayers every morning. I don't, I don't get out of that bed until I say it. I send light and love throughout the planet and beyond. I send healing, abundance, peace, and awakening for those who choose. And then, of course, I say, thank you for my own health and wealth and joy and awakening. I receive it. And if you do that, that works. Why? Because we are unlimited light beings. You are amazing. All right, you're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. That's from the master key system. That very phrase was used by a young man who was told he had a few weeks to live, not only lived, but became completely healed of his maladies and a perfectly uh, wonderful, healthy man who also used it for other people and healed other people with it through the belief. It's our own power. That's all we're doing. That is something that was stated in the master key system is a story that was used a hundred years before the master key system even mentioned that story. Why? 
the more people that use that, the more powerful it becomes because then there's focus on those words. So the words are powerful. What's behind them is more powerful, right? All right, so join me for Breakthrough Fear, my e-course, six-week e-course that you will have access to for a year if you use the code word Inspiration with Landria. It's down in the description or you can go to landriaonka.com. We've had miracle healings. We've had people have abundance, amazing things happen that were unbelievable. Jobs, uh, miracles, physical miracles. Somebody got healed of a, a couple people got healed of ailments and uh, just unbelievable uh, things happening because they cleared out all the junk. They cleared all the stuff, the, the fears and, and whatever was was causing that malady. And the same thing with you. You can heal relationships, all these things. If you want to take the course, go down. Get, it's a 25% discount if you use the code, Inspiration with Landria. Look on landriaca.com for uh, the, go into the store and see what's coming up. And if you're in my manifest, uh, five steps to manifest anything email list, which is also down here, I'm going to work with you. And we're going to keep doing this until you figure out what you are. And I hope one day you just don't need me anymore. Need, the N word, right? We try not to use the need word. I love you, you're amazing. And uh, so Halloween's coming up. Let's celebrate. We might have to say that about this planet, right? Leave now and escape with your life. <laughs> Blessings, my friend. Namaste.